Hello friends, this is Ganesh. Hope you are doing wonderful. This is a quick video about how to debug my a long if condition and I want to make sure which condition fails. So that can be possible with the help of statement debugging or we have another uh, name called a step size. So once you enable the step size option, you are able to identify uh, means you are allowing just go to the uh, control to just go for the debugging step by step okay so you have like 15 to uh, 20 different conditions in your if statement it will go one by one and whenever it fails then automatically it come out of that particular if statement okay so that is that that will be useful if you have uh, more or a long if conditions okay so let's get into the slide So here, this is my uh, if condition. I have different conditions like condition one, two, three, and four with a combination of an and or. So now I want to know exactly which condition fails, whether C1 or C2 or C3. So uh, for this, I'm going to use a concept called statement debugging in a debugger option, or we call it a step size. And uh, this can be achievable only in the new debugger, not with the old one. Okay. So that's pretty uh, simple one. I want to show with a very simple examples. Okay, let's get into the system. So this is my system with a uh, few um, variables, and uh, I formed a if condition with the help of those variables. And there are some checks based on the user input. It will check and it will identify whether it is true or false. Uh, simple run. So if I give uh, twelve and uh, check some numbers and press F8, it says false. Okay, so now I want to know which condition fails, either it's A or B or C. So here I'm going to have a breakpoint, a normal breakpoint works fine. Okay, and then execute. So again, 12, uh, check, 12, execute. So in normal way, what happens is if you press F5, Okay, if you press single step, if you press F5, automatically, if all the three conditions are, are satisfied, it will go to the line number 11 or it will go to line number 13. So if I press F5, it goes to line number 13 because one of the conditions, I'm not sure one of the condition or all or all the three conditions, some conditions are gets fails, so it automatically comes to the else part. So now we need to know which condition fails. Okay, so first less than 100. So what is the value here? So A, B, and C. Okay. So A is less than 100. Yes. And B could to check the RSS spelling mistake. So it, it just fails in my second condition. So how I know that? So go here again. Go to statement. I'm going to enable the step size option. Just click step size. It's automatically it shows debugger increment or change to statement or subcondition level. Now you can see the control. Uh, it's, it's actually selected. Right? So it's not a control. It's you can see the selection is happening in the first condition. A is less than 100. Okay, I'm going to press F5 or here you have option. It'll, it'll move on to the next condition. It'll go and check whether B equal to check is, is correct or not. So what happens if it is right, then it go to the next condition C. If not, if it is fails, then con control it just come out of the line number statement 10 it add, directly go to line number 13. So whenever there is a fail happens in your long if condition, it automatically comes out of your uh, if condition. Okay, so now I'm going to press F5. Yes, it's come out of it. Okay, so one more example. Suppose A is less than 100, right? So I'm going to give on 89. Uh, so here it is, your yeah, correct one, F8. And every time you have to enable it, otherwise, so if you press F5, it directly goes there, okay? So one minute, go back, F8. Okay, so every time make sure you enable the tips, step size option. So now it is just checking A is less than uh, 100. So what is the A value? A value is 189. So automatically it comes out of it. So press F5. This comes out of it. Okay. Now I'm going to give the second one also wrong value. F8. So step size. F5. A is less than 100. Oh, sorry. My bad. 
I have to give the correct value to the A, it should be less than 100, okay. So step size, enable the step size, A is less than 100, yes. B equal to check, no. So it's come out of it. Okay, and what is the C condition? Is greater than 100, okay, F8, go back. So A and B is correct and greater than 100, right? Okay, 12, step size, if I true, A is less than 100, yes. B is equal to check, yes. Then it goes to the third condition. So C value is greater than, oh, sorry, my bad. Greater than 100, actually no. So it's come out of it. Okay. So now if you give all three are correct, 230, if I step size, if I, yes, true, B also true, C also true, then what happens? It comes to line number 11. Okay, so it, it's completed. It just completed all the full if conditions, whatever you have. And based on the uh, input, based on the checks, if it is true, go to the proper statement. If it is false, either it goes to the next else if, if you have, or it directly go to the else part. If, if you don't have else if or else, it automatically come out of the if statement, if statement block, okay? So this is this might be useful whenever you have very lengthy long if conditions make use of the step size and you, you just come to know so which condition uh, makes this if statement fails okay just play around have any doubt let me know thank you so much for your time see you in the next video bye